In this video, we'll convert 1.93 moles of magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2, to grams. In this 1.93, I just made that number up for this video. So we have our 1.93 moles of MgOH2, and we want to convert that to grams. So when we go from moles to grams, we're going to multiply by the molar mass. That'll give us grams. To find the molar mass, we go to the periodic table and we add the masses up for each one of the elements here in MgOH2. That gives us 58.33 grams per mole, units for molar mass, grams per mole. If you need help finding the molar mass for MgOH2, there's a link in the description and at the end of this video. So now when we do the math, we have moles on top and on the bottom. They cancel out. That leaves us with grams. That's what we're looking for. So we know we've done this correctly. When we do the multiplication, we get 112.58 grams of magnesium hydroxide. So to recap, we had moles and we wanted to find grams. So we multiplied by the molar mass of MgOH2, the magnesium hydroxide. The moles, they canceled out and they left us with grams. If you were given grams and you wanted to find moles of magnesium hydroxide, you just do the reverse. You'd have your grams, and now you divide by the molar mass to get to moles. This is Dr. B converting moles of MgOH2 to grams. Thanks for watching.